Stanley made a lot of hand planes, but their most useful by far are their bench plane line numbered 3 through 8. These are the workhorses, the planes that still get a lot of use even in our modern power tool workshops. So over the next few weeks, we're going to be taking these planes one at a time and talking about how we can get the most out of them and why you should use them in your shop. This week we're starting with the smallest of the bench planes, the number three. Truth be told, it's not really the smallest they ever made. They made an even smaller number two and a smaller yet number one. But those planes are really rare and are much more likely to be displayed in a case rather than used on your bench. The number three is a smoothing plane and one of my personal favorites. It's short, it's narrow, and it's easy to control, which is important in a smoother. Because sometimes when you're planing a board, the grain will change. And to get a good cut, you want to work with the grain and not against. So a small smoother allows you to maneuver around and take a super thin shaving, which will give you a surface that just can't be matched with any type of sandpaper. All planes should be kept sharp, but a smoother like this should be the sharpest in your collection. For that reason, I think it's a good idea to upgrade the blade to one that will take a better edge, like our modern steels. Maybe a replacement hock or pinnacle blade for like a $35 investment. That'll turn a good plane into a great tool that'll be a pleasure to use.